Isaiah chapter 10 Woe to those who enact unjust laws and draft oppressive legislation. To deprive the poor of their rights and withhold justice from the oppressed of my people, making widows their prey and robbing the fatherless. What will you do on the day of reckoning when devastation comes from afar? To whom will you flee for help? Where will you leave your wealth? Without me, they will bow down among the prisoners and fall among the slain. Yet for all this, his anger is not turned away. His hand is still upraised. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger, the club in their hands is my fury. I will send him against a godless nation. I will dispatch him against a people destined for my rage, to take spoils and seize plunder, and to trample them down like clay in the streets. But this is not what he intends. This is not what he plans. His purpose is to destroy, to cut down many nations. For he says, Aren't all my officials kings? Isn't Kona like Karchemish? Isn't Hamath like Arpad? Isn't Samaria like Damascus? As my hand has seized the idolatrous kingdoms, whose images exceeded those of Jerusalem and Samaria, shall I not deal with Jerusalem and her idols as I have dealt with Samaria and her images? So it will be that when the Lord has completed all his work against Mount Zion and Jerusalem, he will say, I will punish the king of Assyria for the fruit of his arrogant heart and the proud look in his eyes. For he says, By the strength of my hand I have done this, and by my wisdom, for I am clever. I have removed the boundaries of nations, I have plundered their treasures. Like a mighty one, I subdued their rulers. My hand has reached out, as if into a nest, to seize the wealth of the nations. Like one gathering abandoned eggs, I have gathered all the earth. Not one flapped a wing or opened its mouth to chirp. Does an axe raise itself above the one who swings it, or a saw boast against the one who saws with it? As if a rod could wield the person who lifts it, or a staff could lift up the one who is not wood. Therefore, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send a wasting disease among Assyria's stout warriors, and under his pomp will be kindled a fire like a burning flame. The light of Israel will become a fire and its holy one a flame. In a single day it will burn and consume Assyria's thorns and thistles. The splendor of his forest and orchard will be completely destroyed, as when a sick man wastes away. Only a few trees will be left, so small in number that a child could count them. And it will come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and the survivors of the house of Jacob will never again depend on the one who struck them, but they will truly depend on the Lord the Holy One of Israel. A remnant will return, a remnant of Jacob, to the mighty God. For though your people, O Israel, may be like the sand of the sea, only a remnant will return. Destruction has been decreed, justice overflows. For the Lord God of hosts will carry out the destruction decreed upon the whole land. Therefore thus says the Lord God of hosts, O my people who dwell in Zion, do not fear Assyria, who strikes you with a rod and lifts up his staff against you as the Egyptians did. In just a little while my wrath will be spent and my anger will turn to their destruction. Then the Lord of hosts will brandish a whip against him, as he struck Midian at the rock of Oreb, and he will raise his staff over the sea as he did in Egypt. In that day his burden will be lifted from your shoulders, and his yoke from your neck. The yoke will be broken because of your fatness. They have crossed over the pass and will camp at Geba. Rama trembles. Gibeah of Saul flees. Cry out, O daughter of Galim. Listen, O Lysha. O poor Anathoth. Manmana has fled. The dwellers of Jebim have sought refuge. This very day, he will halt at Nob. He will shake his fist at the mount of the daughter of Zion, the hill of Jerusalem. But the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will brandish a whip against them, as he did when he struck Midian at the rock of Oreb, and he will raise his staff over the sea, as he did in Egypt. In that day the yoke upon your neck will be broken, and foreigners will no longer enslave you. They will swoop down on the slopes of the Philistines to the west. Together they will plunder the sons of the east. They will lay their hands on Edom and Moab, and the Ammonites will be subject to them. The Lord will devote to destruction the gulf of the Sea of Egypt. With a scorching wind he will sweep his hand over the Euphrates. 
he will split it into seven streams for men to cross with dry sandals. There will be a highway for the remnant of his people who remain from Assyria, as there was for Israel when they came up from the land of Egypt.